got Marky Ramone. You heard of the Ramones in the band for 15 years, 10 studio albums, 1,700 shows. Here we are today in Brooklyn, New York, uh, where I lived all my life. Hey ho, let's go. Uh, I was born in Brooklyn, New York. I lived, uh, it was called Flatbush. The first time that I was very impressed was obviously the Beatles on the Ed Sullivan Show. And I started piecing together a drum set, piece by piece, literally. And uh, I lived on Ocean Parkway for a while, and that's where I was able to uh, rehearse with my first band, Dust. We were still in high school, and we were one of the first heavy metal bands in America. <clears throat> Black Sabbath's album came out in America in 1970, but we already wrote our album in 70, and it came out in 71. I uh, went to Erasmus Hall High School. In high school, there was always some kind of uh, distraction, physical or verbal. Uh, maybe the way you know you looked, your hair, your, what you wore, your leather jacket, jeans, you know. I hardly went to school. So for 10 months, I'd be just jerking around doing, you know, playing and rehearsing. And then uh, I'd get left back, but I would make it up summer school. Hey, we're not students, we're the Ramones. Ramones? You're responsible for making that horrible rock and roll music? You turned the whole school against me. And uh, that was my destination, you know, hanging out at CBGB's and uh, playing uh, punk rock. Uh, at the time when CBGB's in 74, 75, there were a lot of strikes. Washington told us to go f ourselves. Uh, they weren't going to help us out financially, so we were basically on our own. In CBGB's, that's where it was solidified, where it all got together. The people that started punk, really. The guys from the Dolls, uh, people from Blondie, Patti Smith. Television, it's the fast-paced society that that New York has. People walk faster, they talk faster. But punk, uh, the way the Ramones did it, nonstop, one, two, three, four, into each other, was the way to do it. <laughs> We'd meet at CBGB's at about 10 o'clock, 10.30, and we'll leave there around four in the morning, go to the Mud Club, which was an, uh, an after-hours uh, club, uh, which uh, closed at eight in the morning. And that kind of stuff you don't see anymore. In the 90s, clubs closed down, and then uh, the rents were raised because of the neighborhood being gentrified. Condos everywhere. People don't want to hear people coming out of clubs screaming and yelling, throwing bottles around and stuff like that, so there were a lot of complaints. So now the mayor has a nightmare uh, panel, you know, and it really helps a lot of the club owners, security people, bartenders, waitresses, there's a lot of things that go with that, that help the city. Well, the Ritz and Irving Plaza, they're still holding on. Gramercy Theater's great. I like the acoustics there. And if you go to Brooklyn here, uh, there's the Bell House. I mean, you know, people have to remember, they were young once. They want to have fun. They want to go out. We need that more than ever for people, again, to socialize, not just on a, a, a cell phone. Now, for a punk band to speak up about what's going on in the world, now's the time to do it. If you don't speak out now about what's going on, you're going to lose a lot of your, your rights. Uh, I have a radio show on uh, First Wave, Channel 33, Sirius XM, Tuesday nights and Thursday. <clears throat> I play punk and new wave. Uh, I tour, we tour the world about 60 shows a year. The Ramones did about 110 shows a year. Uh, when I go uh, anywhere in, uh, in a hotel, I make sure they have the coffee machine there. The band and, and myself still were very big in Argentina, Brazil, Chile, uh, Colombia, where a lot of this, the coffee comes from. And I love the stuff they make. Italy, Italian coffee's great. I like the Mexican coffee, too. I like it black and I like it strong. I don't like anything on my coffee. You know, New York is... They're, they're, they're different than any, anybody else. You know, everybody wants to come here, live here, and, but it, it's not as easy as you think because you're competing with New Yorkers. It's a groove. It's the way you move. It's, the, it's your attitude. It's uh, the way you can uh, 
understand other people, how they exist. Treat people the way you want to be treated. I don't care where you're from.